my name is Amita and in this video I am going to discuss about a very important concept of a series RLC circuit that is series resonance. So what do you understand by series resonance? Suppose a series RLC circuit is fed by an AC source that is VTVM sin omega t. If the current strain in this circuit is IT, suppose the value of RLC are R, L and C. And the voltage across resistance is VR, voltage across inductance is VL, and voltage across capacitance is VC. Okay, so what do you understand by series resonance? Series resonance means it is the condition in a series RLC circuit. It is the condition in series RLC circuit when the inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance. It means if in a series RLC circuit, in series RLC circuit, the instant at which the inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance, then we say that the circuit is in series resonance condition. Means mathematically I can write XL is equal to XC. Now you know XL is equal to omega L and XC is equal to 1 by omega C. So if I that is omega L is equal to 1 by omega C. So what I am going to get? Omega square is equal to 1 by LC. So that means omega is equal to under root root by LC. Now we know that omega is equal to, we know omega is equal to 2 pi F. So if I put omega is equal to 2 pi F, I am going to get 1 by root LC. That means from here, I can calculate that F. F is nothing but it is a resonance frequency. So F0, F0 is nothing but it is a resonance frequency. So I can write 1 by 2 pi root LC. So this is nothing but it is the formula for resonance frequency. Okay, F0 is resonance frequency. That means this is the frequency at which the series resonance condition exists in the circuit. Why we are in, we are calculated the resonance frequency because the particular RLC element, if the condition at which this XL is equal to XC, because what is XL? That is omega L. Omega L, I can write it as 2 pi FL. XC is equal to 1 by 2 pi XC. So for a particular L and C, 2 pi is constant, L and C are also constant for a given circuit. So if I want to make it XL is equal to XC, that is only possible when we are going to change the frequency. By changing the frequency of a supply voltage, we can arise the condition when XL is equal to XC. And that particular frequency is called resonance frequency. And this is how we drive the formula for resonance frequency. So what is the resonance frequency? Resonance frequency is a frequency at which the XL is equal to XC and this is the formula for a resonance frequency. Now, the next thing is what will be the impact of resonance, impact of resonance in series RLC circuit. So, in series RLC circuit, see, at resonance frequency, XL, we know that at resonance, we know at resonance, at resonance condition, condition, XL is equal to XC. So, what will be the impedance? That basically it is equal to R square XL minus XC ka whole square. So, that means if XL is equal to XC, matlab, Z will be equal to under root R square means it will be equal to R. That means the first point in case of resonance impedance will be equal to r see that means impedance will be minimum impedance will be minimum will be minimum and the second second thing i can write the circuit behavior the circuit behavior behavior will be registered will be registered okay because z is equal to r Circuit behavior is resistive, means phase angle phi will be zero. And the power factor 
power factor. What is power factor? Power factor is cos of phase angle. So that means cos of zero means the power factor will be one. Will be two. We know that current is equal to voltage by impedance. Okay. So in case of series resonance, Z is equal to R. So current will be maximum. Current will be maximum. Current will be maximum. So in case of series resonance, Z will be minimum. Circuit behavior will be resistive. Power factor will be one. Phase angle will be zero, and the current will be maximum. Okay. Now, if I just want to show the variation of these electrical quantities, I can represent like this. Suppose this is y axis and this is x axis. Suppose x axis is showing the frequency. You can see here this yellow color diagram is showing the variation of z. And what is this? This is resonance frequency at which the z is minimum. This is z is minimum. Similarly, if I just want to show the variation of current, you can see here when z is minimum at that time. The current will be maximum, so the current variation will be just like this. So this is red color is showing current, and you can see here that at impedance the this line is showing because when the impedance is minimum, that means it is equal to resistance. So this is showing the value of R, and I know as you know that the resistance doesn't depend its value on a frequency. So with respect to frequency, you can see here that the that the resistance is constant, and this resonance frequency, the value of that is equal to resistance. And here you can see at this point the current is maximum, and this is equal to V bar R. Okay, so current is max. This yellow color is showing the variation of impedance. This red color is showing the variation of current. And this white color is showing the resistance. See, okay? so this is how we can show the variation of an impedance and current with respect to frequency uh, under the resonance condition. So I hope, my dear friends, I hope you understand the concept of a series resonance and what will be the impact of this series resonance on the performance of a series RLC circuit. And at at the same time, I have shown that how the impedance and current Varies under series resonance condition with respect to frequency.